Hi, I'm Rebecca Brightly and this is my first educational dance video for the YouTubes. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is called the Shorty George. You might have seen it before. It looks a little something like this. For some new swing dancers, this is basically the bane of your existence because most people teach uh, jazz steps as though it's sequential and you just you put this foot here and then you sort of drop the knee that way and lift the hip and then do this with your arms and you got to do it all at once and then the next step is you. Yeah, well that's, I find that really confusing. And I find that a lot of solo jazz steps can really be broken down into more essential movements, more foundational movements and then just layer up from there. So that's the teaching method that I use. Here's what I want you to do. Get up from your chair or wherever you're standing. It doesn't matter what kind of surface you're standing on. I'm standing on carpeting, that's fine. And you're going to place your feet uh, straight forward, so not pigeon-toed in or uh, duck-toed out. And they're going to be about 8 inches apart or a little wider than your hip width. Bend your knees. Don't go into a funny position with your back. Just bend your knees. It's not difficult. And then I want you to put your knees together. And then go back to normal. And put them together. And go back to normal. And do that a few times. You're not actually lifting your feet off the ground like that to get your knees in. So I'm not lifting up on the outsides of my feet. I'm just putting my knees together. All right, that's half of it. The other half is you're going to bring your knees to the outside of your feet. You get that? The outside of the feet. Again, I'm not actually lifting up on the outsides of my feet. I'm just bringing my knees outside of my feet. Inside, outside. Inside, outside. Okay, so what if I wanted to do the outside on one and bring my knee inside on the other foot? It would look like that. So go ahead and play around with that. Bringing the knee inside, one knee outside, both feet still pretty flat on the floor. Back to neutral, and then the other direction. See if you can kind of smooth that out a bit. You see where this is going? Okay, the next step is you're going to bring your feet close together, okay? So I'm keeping them in this direction, and I just bring them close together. So you have this sort of awkward look, but it starts to look like the solo jazz step that we know as a shorty George very quickly. So you do the same thing that you were doing with your knees far apart, or with your feet far apart. One knee goes in, the other knee goes out, and then they switch. The other knee goes in and the other knee goes out. Back and forth. Dun, get dun, get dun, get dun. I do not care what you do with your arms, but I suggest you do something that does not feel awkward. For instance, this would be awkward. Doing something that feels kind of counterbalancing the knee motion, that is good. We've got this far. Right now our arms are not awkward. That's where we're going with the arms, not awkward. And we need to step forward. And the foot that we're going to step forward on is the knee that is going out. So when I move back the other way, my left knee, your right knee if you're mirroring me, is going to be moving out and it's going to step forward, okay? And then the opposite. So if you ever get confused about what foot steps forward, it's the one where the knee is going out. And I want you to just keep Keep them flat on the floor, moving one in front of the other. Right next to each other, not pointed out, not pointed in, just one next to the other. Okay, so all together, what we have so far looks like this. Step forward on the knee that goes out, step forward on the knee that goes out, 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 out. Arms are doing something not awkward. So that's only part of it. There's another little part that goes jump gadu, kick ball change. And that basically means kick, step, step. And they're quick steps, so generally on the first step, you only get the ball of your foot down on the floor. So kick ball change is basically kick, ball change. In Shorty George speak, that would be kick out to the side, and you just fall. To this direction. So you're always going to start, for you, 
stepping forward on your left, right? So this move always goes forward on the left. Coincidentally, then it goes out when you step on that foot. So we have, go away cats, we have Jun Kadu, kick, ball change, or kick and fall to the left. Kick and go to the left. So kick and fall to the left, and then begin stepping. There's so many different things you could do with your arms. Right now, I just want them to not look awkward. So it might be worth taking a moment to like look in the mirror and see if you're doing anything wonky with your shoulders or your hands. So a lot of different things you could do with your arms. I like to have mine out to the side, sort of waggling to the side. Which direction do they go? I don't know. Try it out. If one feels awkward, try it the other way. Another thing you can do with your arms, keep them close and kind of go up and down with your shoulders. Which way? I don't know. Try it out. If it feels awkward, try the other way. So with the arms close and the shoulders going up and down, it looks like this. Okay, so there it is, the Shorty George in five minutes. That wasn't so painful, was it? You don't look too horribly awkward anymore trying it, right? So if you liked the video, please share it. And if you really, really liked it, go to my website, rebeccabrightly.com slash hell yes, and uh, get some more free cool stuff that I like to put out. It's a secret, so you have to go to the website to find out what it is.